Hi guys, Happy New Year! I'm Jenna and thanks for checking out this video and my channel. Today I'm going to share with you a little flip through of my huge <laughs> Hobonichi journal for 2018. It was quite a task to actually put this video together. So this is my personal journal so I did not have the intention of really sharing this with anyone but um, the Hobonichi was pretty amazing to document in for my year of 2018. There was lots of things, positive things that I wanted to share with you about um, how I documented in my planner for the year, what I loved about the Hobonichi, why it worked, some things that didn't work. So that's why I will be sharing this today. Um, it is quite hard to have a really good look because again a lot of this information in here is private and personal and yeah <laughs> so I'm gonna try to be brave and, and share some of the pages in uh, my journal I get really excited about planning and journaling at the start of each year always finding new ways to document and different experimenting with different planners and journals so for 2018 I was really intrigued I was you know being a lover of Japanese stationery I was really intrigued about the Hobonichi. So my first Hobonichi I chose was the Hobonichi Techo, it's the A5 version. You can also get it in a smaller size. And what attracted me to the Hobonichi was the fact that I really wanted to get back into doing illustration work and doing art and painting and watercolour. So I also wanted to work on my watercolouring skills as well. And yeah, so this was kind of like just about experimentation working on this journal this year. It was a way for me to record my thoughts, my memories, but it was also a place to, I guess, experiment creatively, like through different art forms, using different materials. It was a place where I could really just, I know at the end of each um, day, it was kind of like a bit of relaxation for me to decorate pages with my favorite stationery, my washi tapes, my stickers. So yeah, I just, it's, it is kind of my place of calm and my place of reflection. And so I'm gonna give you a flip through today. Um, all the little post-its here are just things that I've flagged for personal information on. So yeah, the great thing about the Hopping Itchy is you can really make it your own by choosing your cover and your inside setup. So let's get on with the flip through. So I got the Liberty cover because I liked um, all the little colourful bows on this and I've just put a llama pouch on the cover inside the cover here. Now it's warping a bit because it's just so full so I'm sorry it's not all perfect but let's take a look inside. So a lot of it is kind of falling a little bit apart so I do apologise for that. So I've got the little... Um, title page here for 2018 and I've used a Copic marker to make like this polka dot pattern. I love polka dots. I love La Dolce Vita so I've been using some of those stickers and I've just used, this has just come off here, this 2018 alpha that I had. I don't have too much um, in this little setup part here, the pockets. I kind of didn't use it too much but using different planners moving forward I think it's something that I'll probably utilize a bit more just depending on what I put in there so I yeah just for the Hobonichi I didn't use it too much so I've just got another little Dolce Vita sticker here um, a little llama paper clip so I love llamas and a sticky note I had some of these my favorite stickers so I like putting like some favorites in the front here some Hobonichi style themed things there's these Coco Fusion sticky notes. I used them to create my little page tabs here if you can see and I had some monthly stickers that I cut up and set over them to make the little tabs. So I do have some Hobonichi stationery as well in here so I've got these little flower sticky notes and they almost look like they're watercolored when you put them on the paper. And I just love this little guy. This wasn't from Hobonichi, but he just reminded me of the Hobonichi characters. And it's just a really cute little kind of 
character paperclip and I just sit him here and I really really this is my favorite um, little thing for the Hobonichi my favorite accessory I probably will move this moving forward into my other Hobonichis too because it's my favorite I don't know I just really like the little OG San Japanese characters and then this was also from the Hobonichi store and then I've just got a llama um, little note paper from Daiso and a little paper clip. Don't really think there's too much in here. Oh, I've got my stencils. I use these at the start of the year, but then I kind of stop for a bit. So I got this one from Daiso and that's like a little stencil. And I think I got these ones from AliExpress. And then I've got the little Hobonichi Life book, which I'm sure everyone's seen that enough times on YouTube. And these little sticky notes, which I actually forgot that I had, so I have to get that back out. So I didn't really use these pockets too much during it, because I always had like my, my pencil case and things nearby. Okay, so let's take a look through this Hobonichi. So it's, I'm so sorry that it's on like a slope, because it's just buckling, it's because it's so full. And that's why it's like ripping and tearing here. So, ugh. So this was the first spread was December. It's actually, I didn't start in December, I started in January. So I went back and, and put these stickers here throughout the year. So that's like a Christmas spread. This, these are all the monthly spreads. Now I love decorating my monthly spreads with stickers, packaging, um, stenciling and doing little illustrations, washi tapes, stickers. Yeah, just basically there is a method, there is a method to this collage sticker washi tape madness. Basically what I do is each day is symbolized with a sticker or a bit of packaging or a drawing or washi tape with what I did that day. So obviously there's a little Ewok here, that means I watch Star Wars. Um, I do use some planner stickers as well. I did some illustrating that day. I had avocado probably for breakfast. Um, I did some illustration work. I made some stickers. I got some happy mail that day. So each day is pretty much summarized by a sticker or washi tape or something like that. That's kind of how I do my little monthly spread layouts. And that's the same throughout all these pages. Nothing too groundbreaking. I just wanted a, a place to be where I can enjoy my stationery and document my day with lots of fun stationery and stickers. And also I really love like planner stamps as well. And I kind of went with a theme for like each month. So this month was like an Eastery theme. So I used lots of pastels and pinks. So I try to like stick to a similar color palette as well with the things that I used. Yeah, so I might skip a few pages, but that's just because it's got some personal information on there. But each of these page spreads really kind of summarize my month, I guess, in stickers and washi tapes. And this is Christmas. I really love this holly jolly Christmas spread. And then it's a new year and then I go into my weekly view at a glance. So this was done similar using stickers and washi tapes to symbolize something that happened on that day. And then I also wrote in a lot of tasks that were completed or to-do lists and things like that in this section as well. So I was really good at the first half of the year filling in the little um, journaling and planning. I probably did a bit more planning at the start of the year and then as it got into halfway through the year I probably 
It was still decorating the week at a glance page spreads, but I stopped writing in it so much because I started using I Hobonichi Weeks and a Traveler's Notebook, so then my journaling kind of died off for this part. But I, I just really loved um, journaling and planning with my stickers and stationery for this section. Like, I did really enjoy it. Again, I used different things like packaging and planner stamps. even cut out pictures of magazines and books that I was reading. I really like the colours on, on this one, it kind of worked together. I don't know why I'm just so nervous sharing this, I think it's because it's like my private journal so I'm actually sitting here going am I gonna show this video so if I show this video like wow well, I'm proud of myself put a lot of um, photos in here like so pictures I've taken for Instagram or mail just just sharing yeah I just print it off on copy paper nothing special but I like adding those little photos in here was a spread I did for Sticky Kit and I did a blog post about how you can plan in your Hobonichi and planners using washi tape and stickers so feel free to check that out on my blog at lifelikedocumented.com. Overall I just really enjoyed documenting in the Hobonichi this year. I, I really loved how you could really personalize each page and it actually took me back to the time when I used to document in my notebooks at high school which was really similar when I get to the pages I'll show you that it was very similar just using the kind of collage and cut and pasting method of documenting and using stationary stickers packaging pictures magazine cutouts it was very similar to how I documented in my journals at high school which was really interesting to kind of go back to that form of documenting again Considering that journaling has changed so much over the years and that's the great thing about journaling is that it can progress and transform But we're also still using like other and past methods to go back to or we miss doing so I, I don't know if that's coming for the interest of Hobonichi. It's just that kind of really cut and paste style journaling which I did do a lot back in high school. I still have all my journals if anyone wants to see some. I could pluck up the courage to try and share some. So we get into the pages of the year. Yeah, it's my personal journal. So it's like a freedom of expression. I don't give myself any judgment when I'm journaling in here. I don't aim for it to be perfect all the time. It would be nice if it was, but it's not. So yeah, this is the start of my pages in my Hobonichi for 2018. I really liked doing this. So if you're not confident, if you're not a confident drawer or you don't have time to draw, um, I thought this would be like a really cool example of something that you could do. So basically I cut out these pictures from a magazine. So I did a little picture map using those magazine cutouts of what I did on that day and did some journaling.
So I've just got the last couple of pages here, my Hobonichi. Sorry I had to skip over some of the pages. I have a lot of personal information and thoughts in here. So I really loved this spread that I did um, during December with the illustrating. So I really want to focus a lot on just, yeah, doing maybe minimal use of stickers and washi. Oh, actually, let's be honest. I'm always going to do stickers and washi, but focusing, I'm just trying to say you don't always have to have stickers and washi to use on your pages. And I really just liked how I used the illustrations for this particular page. It's probably my favorite spreads in my Hobonichi. So thanks for watching this um, giant Hobonichi flip through, guys, for 2018. I'd love to know what you're journaling with for 2019 or if you enjoy journaling maybe in the past in Hobonichi or if you're going to try a Hobonichi. Yeah, I just like to get the conversation going in the comments. It's always lovely to um, hear from anyone at all. I put a lot of work into these videos, so it's those comments that really kind of motivate you to keep on going and sharing as well as your lovely likes and your subscribe so thank you so much for all the support this year guys i really appreciate it and i'll see you all in the new year so bye for now guys i hope you enjoyed this video